Hello everyone. Are you ready for story time? Today we're going to read 47 Beavers on the Big Blue Sea. All right, this one has been one of my favorites for a while and it's obviously about beavers. And how many beavers? 47. Here we go. Let's put it on the side. Okay, this book is kind of long. Here we go. Deep in the Northwest Territory, where the woods look down on the Western Sea, and the trappers trap so merrily, for the streams are oh so beavery. One day in 1842, a trapper by the name of Stu came down to the beach and said, Hello, I need a boat or a big canoe. So here's Trapper Stu. I need a lift on down the coast to the nearest beaver trading post where they'll shake my hand and raise a toast to Trapper Stu, who trapped the most. And so he piled what he caught in a rather small boat, and he asked the young sailor to give him a quote. No way, said the sailor with a fear in his throat. There's too many beavers. It ain't gonna float. And as they debated man to man, the beavers developed. A curious plan. See the little beaver popping up? What are they gonna do? And the beavers pulled upon the oars, and the beavers rowed away from shore, and the beavers two, and the beavers three, 47 beavers on the big blue sea. No one thought that beavers were capable of scheming. If you'd say, the row away, most folks would say, you're dreaming. But here they were, and there they went, across the briny blue, calling out a cadence like a royal Olympic crew. For a week or two, the Beaver Creek crew rode the, the Great Pacific, till from the north a storm blew in with winds that were terrific. And one by one, their oars blew off and vanished. Mercy me! And 47 beavers were left bobbing in the sea. Oh no, here's their oars. Their oar, an oar is what you use to row a boat. Row, row, row your boat. Sweet, you use an oar. Well, the beavers bobbed upon the sea, and the beaver sobbed in misery. And the beavers two, and the beavers three, 47 beavers on the big blue sea. This is bad, they cried. We feel like Noah in his ark. Then their bad got worse because they were staring at a shark. Alas, alas, we're doomed, they wailed. The shark showed his incisors adrift at sea and now will be a fishy's appetizers. Uh, then one small beaver stood and faced the others from the bow. He said, our time will come someday, but it ain't coming now. When we all work together, there's a lot that we can do. So let's show that big bully that we've got incisors too. Incisors are um, some of your teeth. 94 beaver teeth flashed out from the boat. One old shark was so surprised his heart jumped in his throat. Never mind, he muttered as he vanished in the blue. It ain't no fun biting dinner if your dinner's biting you. Well, the beavers flashed their pearly whites and the shark vanished out of sight. And the beavers two and the beavers three, 47 beavers on the big blue sea. Well, that's good, they said, but we're still stuck. We'll never get here uh, off this wreath. Not so fast, the young one said. We have more than just teeth. With that, he jumped back 
to the stern and dangled down his tail and started slapping water like a little beaver whale. Soon the others joined him and with all that beaver power, their little boat was skimming waves at 40 miles an hour. That beaver's tail's just going. And the beaver slapped, oh, you can see my, my book is falling apart. And the beaver slapped their big flat tails and the beavers raced like killer whales. And the beavers two and the beavers three, 47 beavers on the big blue sea. Three more weeks went by and soon they all began to mope. We're getting tired of paddling. We're starting to lose hope. Then again they saw a sight that made them holler, Wow, we 47 beavers just discovered Maui. They hit the land and kissed the sand, a sign of their thanksgiving, but soon began to mope again. How will we make a living? This island ain't for beavers, and we're not pedicurists. I've got it, cried the little guy. We'll entertain the tourists. So the beavers built a beaver lodge, and the tourists came for food and fudge. And the beavers too, um, what do you know? 47 beavers in a dinner show. So why did I tell this story? What's the point for me and you? We might find ourselves someday trapped by Trapper Sue, or staring down our own big sharks, or facing nasty weather. But we've been blessed and things go best when we all work together. And the beavers pulled upon the oars and the beavers roll, rowed away from shore. And the beavers two and the beavers three, 47 beavers on the big blue sea. The end. So did you catch the, the theme of the book was on this page. So why do we tell this story? So someday when you're facing things like not being able to go to school or um, you know something that's not very comfortable, just know that things go best when we all work together. Hope you guys liked 47 Beavers in the Big Blue Sea. I know I liked it, and I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you next time for story time.